You're with Sky News. Now some other stories today. Amazon has launched its first smartphone. It unveiled a device called Fire in Seattle in the last hour or so. The phone features a 3D-capable screen and certainly signals the company's intent to take on Apple and Google. Well, Kate Bevan's a freelance writer who specialises in technology and social media, and she's with me in the studio now. Um, the investors like it. The share price has gone through the roof, has it? hasn't I'm it? I'm not so, surprised. Uh, is it a good device? I think it's a good device. I think it's a clever device for Amazon strategy. I mean, I, quite apart from all the, sort of the cool, fun stuff like the 3D and the Firefly, um, kind of augmented reality thing it's a brilliant platform for content delivery I mean it's not only brilliant for delivering digital content movies music it's got all the music services that are announced but the 3d shows off uh, physical product absolutely brilliantly and that's what it's brilliant for so take us through the specs 4.7 inch screen that's 4 .7 inch screen closer it's... to the Samsung's than the Apple's yeah isn't it? Um, yeah because well, there's talk that Apple's going to make a bigger phone this Christmas but we'll see about that but that's a whole other story um, quad core processor a 13 megapixel camera so in terms of specs, it's pretty standard. From what you can tell, as good as the other smartphones, as good as the it's right others. up there yeah. competing with the best. Yeah. Okay, is it priced like the best, like 500 quid or something? No, no. I mean, it's less than that. From what I can see um, in the US, it's going to be either $199 or $299 dollars, and with AT&T. It? It's a lot cheaper than an iPhone. It's a lot cheaper than some of the high-end Nokia. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting now package. The the joke that we were sharing earlier was this the browser would be completely locked and all you could do with it is go to the Amazon website. <laughs> is it going to be an effective extension of their shopping phenomenon? Very much so. I mean, it's the Google strategy, which is create devices that gets your services in front of many eyes as possible. With Google, of course, that's advertising in front of many eyes as possible, which is what it's done with its version of Android. Um, Amazon's is about delivering content, um, as well as the digital stuff, as well as the music, the movies, the books and all the rest of it. 3D interface, when I saw Jeff Bezos showing it off on the live blogs that I was watching, it showed off dresses brilliantly. And of course, that's what it's good for, for showing you physical product. And in some ways, that's Amazon getting back to its roots. Amazon did stuff before it did digital. So it's a shopping window in the palm of your hand. That's a really good way of putting but, it. Um, I should be writing their copy for them, <laughs> should I? Sorry. <laughs> but from what you could understand, is it, it's going to be a decent phone as well. It does yeah. all the other things. I, I noticed the, like, it automatically will store all your photos in the cloud. Yeah. I, that's an interesting bet, isn't it? To give it, unlimited it, cloud storage. Did you know, actually, that's cheap, though. I mean, most people use, what, a maximum of a terabyte? Using a terabyte on cloud storage is, is a lot. So that's cheap. Amazon's got servers coming out of its ears. So that's an easy giveaway for it. And, yeah, it's another differentiating factor because, you know, mm -hmm. Apple will sync some of your stuff up via um, iCloud. Um, with Microsoft with Windows Phone, you can sync some of your stuff via SkyDrive. But this is, yeah, unlimited, that's pretty cool. So the Americans get this first. Any hints about when the Europeans, the Brits, get a chance? Who knows? I mean, we might get it for Christmas. That's a guess. That's not on any kind of inside information. But it would make sense to have it for Christmas. OK, thank you very much thank you. indeed.